Good morning. It is December 13th, 2021. It's kind of an overcast, cooler morning. But I just wanted to give an update on what we got going on on the homestead today. Um, I'm standing next to one of my chicken tractors in the side yard. And I ordered 16 red broilers from Valley Farms in Muscle Shoals, Alabama. Which is where I normally order my white Cornish rock broilers from. Um, but I ordered some of these around October 18th. And I um, ordered 16, I got 18. These are most of the mostly pullets in this pen. I separate them just so that I would have some some more room because I have several tractors. Um, but they are coming on six seven weeks now, and they're they're ready for their uh, breakfast and their water and everything this morning, which is what I'm getting ready to do while they're coming up to the front. Um, but we ordered these. Um, ended up with 11 roosters and six hens so we'll be keeping most of the hens and butchering out all but one of the roosters um, just so we can get some new fresh hens they will these broilers grow slower they can pasture um, and procreate and they are good layers actually they'll sit on eggs too so I have tried the um, the rank what they call the Rangers Freedom Rangers um, different varieties pioneers all of them this is the first time that I've tried the red broiler from this hatchery so I am uh, you know so far these chickens have been super healthy and super vigorous and um, yeah so so far I'm happy with these guys and we'll see how they do as they grow up um, we do plan on butchering like I said all but one of these roosters when they get bigger and we just move these tractors around every couple of days to put them on a fresh piece of dirt. And they are pretty happy in there. And then over here by my greenhouse, I had grown these bags of potatoes and got a good um, crate full of potatoes out of here. So all the potatoes are done. And then in these bags here, I have my... Um, some of my peppers that I have been growing since spring and um, these are just some of the jalapenos, pumpkin spice jalapenos, guajilla peppers, scotch bonnets, sweet bonnets, all that which these these are looking like they're ready to get cut back pretty good. I'm going to be putting them in the greenhouse when it starts to frost. We still got a week at least a week before we get gonna get a frost so um, I do want to start some seeds here in the next day or two for peppers before it gets too cold and then here I have some cabbages that I've been growing and then this netting is on here to keep the caterpillars from laying their eggs in there and then this here is celery and then I have a very happy um, Poblano pepper here and the scotch bonnets that were growing in the garden last winter that I moved over and then here I have some determinate tomato plants this is a husky cherry it's got some tomatoes on it this one's called a Somerset and the plant is not looking too good but it does have a bunch of fruit on it about a turn too and then over here I have a Napa Chardonnay and a couple more tomato plants which have been you know colder weather and everything else so they have a lot of blight on them for growing you know during the winter time but there is some decent fruit in there just wanted to see what I could grow before the frost and then here's another one over here it's got a tomato on it growing in this little pot so that's just basically some winter tomatoes that I was growing and then in this pot I have some um, carrots that I started and then here I grew some Olympus carrots from Haas Tools I think these are just regular Nantes carrots maybe some rainbow ones mixed in and then these are Olympus carrots from Haas Tools which are just now coming up that's my carrot bag 
um, experiment that I'm doing bag carrots and that's pretty much <coughs> it for what's growing over here by my greenhouse uh, I don't have anything growing in my greenhouse right now over here I just have a couple collards and a few savannah mustards and we'll go and see a little bit's changed in the garden not much I got a pumpkin those Cherokee tan pumpkins that are growed all the way out here from the garden and actually there's at least one pumpkin growing way out here <coughs> So I got to change my water where it doesn't come on quite as often through the winter. If you want to see a big overview of what the garden looks like. Right now. So these are cabbages growing in the front bed here. And then I have some cabbages and some broccoli and some Romanesco broccoli that I started from seed in the fall. And then I have a couple of late comer um, red broccolis down here. And I planted some more peas because they didn't come up good. In that back bed I have nothing. And then I have some collards right there in the front. And then you can see I still got remnant pumpkins and butternut squash coming off with stuff. And then over here I got onions and celery and cauliflower, some red lettuce, Romanesco broccoli. Here's my green magic broccoli. I got this from Starts from Lowe's or Home Depot and it's actually starting to head broccoli right now. This is my favorite kind of broccoli to grow so far. And this year I am growing Waltham, which is a standard heirloom variety. And then these Green Magic broccoli. And then back there I have Romanesco broccoli, which they aren't growing as fast. So I'm gonna be watering them with some nitrogen, try to give them a little boost. And then back there I have Lacinato kale sugar peas here and this is our new cat Solomon we got him um, back in August and he is my daughter's new kitten and he is a sweetheart Solomon Solomon he kind of resembles Trixie there's Trixie over there but he is kind of an orange brown tabby where she's black and gray and all the kittens in his litter were polydactyl which means they had big uh, extra toes on their feet except for him and that's solomon our newest member of the family he's a ham he likes to aggravate trixie but he's a real sweetheart with the kids. He lo he allows the kids to drag him around and, and love him and tote him and everything else. So back to the garden. We got carrots growing right here, and some chard, and lettuce, basil, some more pepper plants and eggplants. And then I didn't have both of these beds in here last time, but I got these on Black Friday. They were about thirty dollars a piece. And it's a six by three by one feet tall. And they're from Amazon. They're two different beds. So you can see one's light green, one's dark green. And then that's a four by three right there. I just ordered another one that I'm probably gonna put somewhere over here. A four by three um, that was $30. And then carrot, more carrots pok choy and lettuce and broccoli and greens and chard it's my asparagus some more wandering pumpkin 
This is my uh, whole bed full of Waltham broccoli. And then I had mentioned last time that I was going to be planting this end of this bed. And I did some rutabagas right here. You can see those all came up. And I'll switch around. And I got some beets. And then I did some cylinder beets and some other beet seed that I had, but it didn't come up very well. So I went ahead and did another row of beets with the new seed that I have in between. And you can see they're starting to come up. There's one right there. So that's all beets and rutabagas right here. And then on this side is sun angel spinach that I grew from seed from Haas Tools. And then right here, I planted this with carrots, rainbow carrots that I picked up from Lowe's. They haven't come up yet. And then I went in here and I planted these with um, some peas that I got, some sweet peas I got from Lowe's. And one of them was called Burpee Burpina. And I don't remember what the other one was called, but I planted one on each side. You can see they're coming out a little bit. I'll go ahead and give them a little bit of water. And then on that end, I have some more um, peas that I put in and some radishes in the middle. There is my sprinkler over there. And then you see another pumpkin growing on the fence. I haven't done anything else back here. My tomatoes are still growing. Over here I have been picking some of those Napa Chardonnays off. But just getting a few tomatoes for winter. There's more than I usually get. I might be able to end up covering these and saving some. For spring I don't know but there's the Napa Chardonnays in there I picked a few of them you can see one of them's gold and one's turning right there and I've got butternut squashes growing back here there's one on the fence back there so I'll be gathering up pumpkins and butternut squash till the freeze. I'm sure I've picked a bunch, put up a bunch, canned a bunch. And then here, I told you I was going to be deconstructing this bed right here and reconfiguring everything back here. So I just took some of those bricks and built up this little bed a little bit taller that's right here. And then what I'm going to do is I have some tin left over from building the roofs on those tractors, those chicken tractors. And I'm going to put tin on the back of this here and all the way two pieces of tin there as far as it'll reach. And then I'm going to use my metal and build just a big L-shaped bed right here and then build it out to right there where that tire is. And then I'm going to come in the middle and do a probably two foot bed down the center. Right here. So that's what I'm working on. Finally got all the bricks from around here. And you can see it from this angle. I want to dig up this uh, persimmon tree and plant it out front because it's never really grown good here in the garden and I want the room to do with what, what I want to with it and and you can see that's how those beds are looking we've got some lacinato kale and some uh, different kinds of kale and basil growing in that bed right there and then in my file cabinet drawers I've just got some lettuce and basil growing and then down here 
close to the fence, I've got some beans and some carrots. So this is what it, the garden looks like from this end of the spectrum. So the garden is constantly evolving and I'm really excited to see what we do and or what we can come up with for the spring out here. I may move this um, this little barrel right here and put my two by three bed right there. Or I'm sorry, my two three by four bed. Because it would fit nicely right there. And I may take some of those bricks and finish building out this bed right there that has the um, the Romanesco broccoli and the red lettuce in it. Which that le lettuce is going to seed so I need to use it. And that is it for the garden for December 13th. That's what we got going on. Slow and steady progress. I'm hoping to be able to work out here in a little while. I do need to, I'm still uh, recovering from my son's 16th birthday party and having people over this weekend. It is a Monday, but I'm hoping to get a handle on some of that stuff and get some presents wrapped. So that I can come out here and do some work out here this week before Christmas. Alright, see you later.